how the narcissist uses triangulation to abuse you. Hello and welcome to my channel. My name is Lisa and in this video, I'm going to address how the narcissist uses triangulation to abuse you during the relationship and even after the relationship ends. Triangulation is an abuse tactic the narcissist uses to bring another person or group of people into the dynamic of the relationship to invalidate and belittle the victim in the hopes of making the victim vie for the attention of the narcissist. This is a manipulation designed to control a person or persons for their own benefit. It is a divide and conquer strategy. In my research of this topic, I came across an article that described triangulation as a psychological threesome that you didn't consent to, and I think that's a perfect description. Now here are 10 examples of what triangulation may look like. Number one, the narcissist will tell you that a mutual friend has said something terrible about you, while also telling that same person you are saying horrible things about them. This can be done by twisting your words or the words of another person into something that isn't true, or at the very least, highly exaggerated. Number two, the narcissist will compare their current partner or spouse with their previous partners. This is usually done in a way to cause the current partner to become jealous or envious of the previous partner. Examples of this are talking about how great of a cook their ex was, implying that they cook better than you do. Talking about how exciting their sex life was with a previous partner, implying that you don't quite measure up. Or talking about something cute or funny their ex did or said in order to make you feel insecure, to make you feel as though they miss their ex, and of course, making you feel as though life was so much more fun and exciting with that person. Number three, on social media, they will like and comment on posts made by members of the opposite sex and may even mention how much they enjoy what this person posts, all the while failing to like or comment on your social media post. This is done to create jealousy and possibly resentment in the current partner. Number four, praising the accomplishments of others while diminishing or being dismissive of your accomplishments. Number five, talking about how much someone else has helped them or helps them or who is always there for them with the subtle insinuation that you don't help them and you're not there for them. This is done to put you in competition with another person to get you to try harder and for you to do more for the narcissist. Number six, creating division and animosity with your children or stepchildren. My narcissistic ex used my stepson, his own flesh and blood, as a pawn to triangulate me almost constantly. He actually did this on our wedding day. After the wedding, my husband left to pick up his teenage son from school. When his son came in the door, he walked past me and muttered the word bitch under his breath as he walked past me. There had been no fight or argument between me and his son, so I was of course surprised and taken aback by this comment. To this day, I have no idea what was said to my stepson. Number seven, comparing you to others in a way designed to make you feel that others are better, more capable, or more successful than you are. Number eight, telling you how badly their ex treated them and using this to explain their poor behavior towards you. This is done to make you blame their ex for basically screwing them up and now you have to fix them or at least be more understanding and tolerant towards them. This is also done to get you to hate their ex, which accomplishes two goals for them. They get you to try harder and accept more crap from them and it keeps you from talking to or listening to whatever the ex may say about them. Remember, divide and conquer. Number nine, 
ending or interrupting an important conversation you're trying to have with them by looking at their phone, replying to a text, one that isn't urgent and can easily wait, or answering a phone call and having a lengthy discussion. Again, a call that is not urgent and they could have let it go to voicemail and return the call when you finish the conversation. This is done to make you feel that the person on the phone is more important than you, or in the case of just looking at their phone, to make you feel like even an inanimate object is more worthy of their attention than you are. Number 10. After the relationship ends, they tell the new victim horrible things about you that are false or telling their new victim that you've said horrible things about that person. This is done to create jealousy and animosity between you and someone you probably don't even know. They do this to not only continue to abuse you, but also to abuse and control the new victim, who is usually completely unaware of what is happening. Remember, there are only three things that are important to the narcissist, and they are fuel, otherwise known as narcissistic supply, power, and control. Triangulation is a highly effective tactic in achieving these goals. The more you know about triangulation and the more you understand how it's used against you, the better you are at spotting it and not getting sucked into this manipulation tactic. Triangulation is employed by every narcissist and they will continue doing it as long as you interact with them. It only ends when you decide to no longer play this game and end the relationship with the narcissist. There are so many ways the narcissist triangulates and the examples I have listed are just a few of those ways. Let me know in the comments how the narc in your life triangulated you. Now, if you found this content helpful, please like and subscribe and share this with others whom you feel this information will help. Thank you for taking the time to watch and may you have a blessed day.